My name is Chris Klingel. Uh, I'm a urogynecologist that uh, recently joined staff here at Olmstead Medical Center. So if you have urinary incontinence, for example, uh, there's several different types, um, and each type is kind of treated and evaluated a little differently. Um, first, I would say, you know, talk to your primary care provider. Um, a lot of times just looking, maybe a bladder infection could cause incontinence. Um, what you drink and how much of certain things you drink also can cause some incontinence. Um, and those are things that uh, you can probably discuss with your primary provider. Um, after that, if there continues to be a problem, uh, you certainly can ask them for a referral uh, or also just call the office and uh, we'd be happy to see you. So another real common uh, problem is what's called stress urinary incontinence. And this is, uh, the example is laughing, coughing, sneezing. Uh, typically affects younger women and um, you'll, notice, you'll normally notice it after childbirth as a good example. Um, it's due to a weakness of the uh, ligaments that kind of support the urethra uh, and bladder neck. Therefore, when you have those events like laughing, coughing, sneezing, or jumping, uh, there's not enough force to keep the urethra closed. So we sometimes call it squirts and spurts. Um, sounds a little funny, uh, uh, but very common. Um, can be treated with some simple things, not surgical, but if it's bad enough, uh, sometimes we talk about surgical treatments that can be very effective. Um, and we, you know, one of the biggest things though is just the difficulty talking about it. Um, it's hard to bring that up. Um, it's talked a lot maybe about with your friends, uh, but again, certainly mention it to your primary care physician or healthcare provider, or just giving us a call and we'd be happy to talk with you and see if we can get you better. So one of the other common problems uh, that we see a lot is what's called pelvic organ prolapse. Uh, and what that is, is um, again, a weakness of the connective tissue that kind of lines under the bladder and around the cervix and uterus. Um, and so again, with childbirth and other factors, uh, those connective tissues get weak. And what happens is the, is the bladder and the uterus can herniate or bulge down and actually start to come out the vagina. Uh, again, it's fairly common, um, uh, you know, feeling a lot of vaginal pressure or feeling something bulging out of the vagina is probably the first things you'll notice. Um, again, there are non-surgical things we can do um, to help improve that and kind of help evaluate it. Uh, again, it's hard to talk about, uh, but it can really affect quality of life. And so getting those things better um, so you can be more active and doing things is kind of what